We need a cure for the coronavirus as fast as possible. Can AI help us? One, two, three, four. Minimizing the impact of the coronavirus is a race against time. And so is finding an antidote. Experts say the development of a vaccine will take time. Current predictions vary. Some say we can expect first scientific findings in June. Others say a vaccine will not be available before early 2021. Scientists are divided on that matter, to put it mildly. Apart from the search for a vaccine, researchers are also working around the clock to create effective drugs for acute COVID-19 cases. Artificial intelligence could be a key component in that search. Companies around the globe rely on AI software and machine learning. For example, the Hong Kong-based Insilico Medicine. They are specialized in medical AI. Insilico's team has trained 28 machine learning models to find molecules that can stop the progression of COVID-19. That's the correct term for the illness the coronavirus causes. Fighting COVID-19 with AI, how does that work exactly? So currently what we're doing, we're looking for uh, uh, small molecules, uh, for possible drugs uh, that will inhibit, that will deactivate one of the core uh, proteins of coronavirus. Uh, so the way we're doing it is we're applying next generation artificial intelligence to design those small molecules from scratch. We're not searching for them, we're uh, imagining those molecules. An AI that designs molecules from scratch? Wow. This is made possible by so-called GANs, Generative Adversarial Networks. To put it simple, GANs consist of two algorithms that work together. They actually learn from each other. The first one, called generator, produces data. In this case, a molecular structure. And the second one, called discriminator, checks if the outcome could work and reports back to the first one. The same principle is used for deepfakes. Let's say, I always wanted to know what Mr. Bean looked like as a woman. And I fed a deepfake software with the respective video footage. The generator would create the fake video and the discriminator would check if the result looks real. If it doesn't, the generator keeps on producing different versions until the discriminator is convinced the video is real. By the way, GANs can also create convincingly realistic humans. Would you have guessed that these pictures were AI-generated and that these people don't exist? But back to Mr. Zavaronkov. How is that similar to your research? We use the very similar technology as, uh, um, uh, as is used for creating deepfakes uh, and uh, other kind of generated uh, imaging data uh, where you can generate uh, humans with specific properties, with specific features. So we use that for molecules. It's kind of like deep fakes for molecules. Figure this, a deep fake for molecules. The GANs calculate chemical structures that do not exist yet. If the results look promising to the researcher's eyes, the models are produced for real. So AI helps create completely new molecules. Whether that means GANs have a kind of creativity is debatable, but they are without a doubt extremely helpful for scientists. In Silico's algorithms have identified 100 molecules with a good chance of docking onto the coronavirus. Seven of them are now being produced and their effectiveness is being clinically tested. With everything it's capable of, could AI replace scientists soon? Wenn das Netzwerk gut trainiert ist, dann kann man natürlich ähm, schon eine gewisse Aussage darüber machen, mit welcher Wahrscheinlichkeit diese Moleküle ähm, bestimmte Eigenschaften haben, aber ähm, ob das jetzt dann wirklich die Eigenschaften sind, die dazu führen, dass das Molekül an dem Coronavirus, an diesem speziellen Coronavirus auch funktioniert, das werden wir dann im Labor sehen. Let's keep our fingers crossed. By the way, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And since you're here already, subscribe to our channel. The British company Benevolent AI also relies on machine learning. However, their algorithms work differently. They scan medical databases of known drugs. The goal is to identify drugs with very specific characteristics. The advantage of the method? The scanned drugs have gone through all stages of medical testing. Does that mean AI could discover a drug that could be used immediately? Bestehende Medikamente zu nehmen und die auf neue Erkrankungen 
Wirkungen, die für diese Medikamente vorher nicht vorgesehen waren, einfach quasi umzuschreiben und neue, eine neue Zweckbestimmung sozusagen zu finden. Das ist schon durchaus sehr attraktiv. Es ist natürlich am Ende so, dass wenn so eine KI irgendwas entdeckt oder entwirft oder wie auch immer feststellt, dass das dann nochmal über den regulären Laborprozess auch verifiziert werden muss. Benevolent AI has identified a drug against arthritis that has promising characteristics. It could now be tested quickly on COVID-19 patients. Algorithms are unbeatable when it comes to analyzing huge amounts of data. And they can even calculate a possible cure. But to evaluate the chances of its success, human scientists are still indispensable. Another digital aspect that could help finding a cure for COVID-19 is the Internet. Nowadays, international scientists can easily cooperate. In silico medicine is making its small molecules available as open source data without any financial interest. That means every scientist could use them for research. An uplifting thought. If you have enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. On that note, stay healthy. Bye.